Our Saturday highlights continue into Newark at Weequaig High School. An issue with the PA system before the Star Spangled Banner, so the Indians go ahead and sing it aloud for the stadium. A special moment pregame as Weequaig faced off against Morris Catholic, coming off a 4-6 and six season last year. And the Crusaders get to work early. Brian Keeger with the deep halfback pass here. Ryan McAndrew on the receiving end. Some fireworks here for Morris Catholic on the opening drive. 30-yard play inside the 20-yard line. But Waquaic's defense will hold up. Jeff Chaplin, fourth down, looks for pay dirt, but it's Nasir Hall coming up big time in the back of the end zone. He causes the incompletion. That was Morris Catholic's only real scoring chance for the rest of the game. The Indians, they go right to work. Jerron Phillips sends this one to Tyler Phillips for the big game midway through the first quarter. That 29-yard pickup signaled the start to an impressive day for Tyler Phillips. Same drive, second quarter, Charles Bruton gets the nod and he's gonna punch it in from one yard out. McQuaick in control early, they lead seven nothing early in the second quarter. And the biggest play of the game comes two drives later. McQuaick doesn't convert a third down, Tyler Phillips back to punt, low snap, but he makes something out of nothing. Tyler Phillips, you can count it at home, but we did it here at Jersey Sports Zone. Phillips will break a dozen tackles on this miraculous run and find his way into the end zone. Such determination from Tyler Phillips never going down, never giving up. He takes it 65 yards to the house. That run was a spark plug for the Indians who kept the pressure on Morris Catholic all afternoon. 13-0 Waquaic leads midway through the second quarter. Morris Catholic's next drive is brief. Naeem Redding with the carry, but it gets blown up. Oh boy, Zaire Williams with the fumble recovery inside the 50-yard line. Another momentum swing here for the Indians. Waquaic turns that fumble into points. Under 20 seconds left in the half, Jerron Phillips floats one to Crosby McClinton for the 35-yard touchdown. A great play after the catch by McClinton. Going to put the Indians well in control. They lead 20 to zip going into the half. Third quarter action, Tyler Phillips is back at it again. Screen pass on the first play of the second half and he is gone. Phillips turns on the afterburners down the sideline for a big 82 yard pitch and catch. Extra point is no good, but we Quake is up big in the second half. It's 26 nothing Indians. This Wequaic defense was stifling. They only allowed 33 net yards all afternoon. Here's Daya Desua blowing through two blocks. Nobody's gonna stop the big man. That's his second sack of the day. Late fourth quarter time winding down. Jerron Phillips, one last play for good measure. Tamid Joseph is gonna come up with the circus grab and he takes it into the zone from 22 yards out. Time expires and the Wequaic Indians come out on top. They get a commanding 33-0 win over Morris Catholic in the 2018 season opener. Jerron Phillips threw for 211 yards and three touchdowns on the day, but it was Tyler Phillips who dominated the box score with an impressive day. Three touches, 176 yards, two touchdowns. Those are Randy Moss numbers. After the game, I caught up with Tyler Phillips, who took us through the big play and the big time win. Oh, the snap was a little low, so like when I picked it up, I just seen a little open lane. I took it off. I got to get the first down and up scoring. <laughs> Coaches motivating us. You know, players bring it together. Um, the height, that's it. You know, teamwork, execution. It's, it's, it's just basically the connection. We know how each other play. We know how to pick each other up instead of bringing them down. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown. 